Hey what's going on guys, today I'll show you how you can add a PayPal button on your WordPress website using Elementor Pro. If you have a single product like an ebook or a t-shirt or anything and you don't want any complex setup like WooCommerce, then you can simply add a PayPal button for purchasing your product and you can receive your payment. Not only that, I will also show you how you can make a donation button for collecting donations and how you can also add a subscription button so you can receive a recurring payment for your service on a monthly and yearly basis. So before starting, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel to get more WordPress related content like this. So here I mentioned earlier, you have to have installed the Elementor Pro plugin to add this PayPal button. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can get this from the very first link on my description. Here I create a landing page for selling this ebook and on the left side here I want to add a PayPal button. So here let's search for the PayPal button widget. Okay, let's drag this under this paragraph. From here on the left side we can configure the pricing and the payment option for this button. So here first of all we need to put our PayPal email address where we want to receive our payment. So put your PayPal email address here. And then here you can choose the transaction type of your PayPal button. Right now it's selected as checkout. I will also talk about the donation and the subscription type later. But right now let's make it to default. And then here you put your item name. Here my item is this book. So let's put this book's name here. And then you can set the SKU number for this product. And then set the price. Let's make it to $14.99. And from here, don't forget to choose the currency. I want to make it to default US dollar. And you can also set the quantity of your product from here. If you want to add a shipping price for your product, you can also add that from here. And for taxes, from here, choose the percentage and put the percentage of your tax. Here I want to charge 5% tax. So after that let's go to this button section and from here you can change the look for this button like if you want to change the binary text you can change it from here. And here is the alignment option so if you want to align this to middle or right you can do this from here but I want to keep it to default. And here is the icon option. You can change the default PayPal icon from here if you want. Here I don't want to show any icon. So let's make it to none. And after that, if we go to this additional option section, from here we can set the redirect link. So when user completed their successful purchase, you can redirect them to a thank you page or any page you want and put that page link here. So after that, here is the sandbox option. So when you turn this on, here is an option for giving your sandbox email account. By this, you can test your purchase and make sure that everything works properly. And here, don't forget to turn off this option when you make your website live. Okay. And here is the option open PayPal in a new tab. Yes, I want to open it in a new tab because I don't want my visitor to leave my website. So when they click on this buy now button, they are going to PayPal on a new another tab. And lastly, here is the option for custom messages. You can also customize these error messages from here, but I want to keep it to default. So let's turn off this. Okay, after that, if we go to the style tab, from here we can change the design of this button. Like if you want to change the background color for this button, you can do this from here. I paste here a red type color and for the hover state I also want to change its color so let's go to hover and make its background color to this and you can also change its typography from this option here here I want to make it to bold so let's make it to 700 and if you also want to make the border to fully round you can also do that from here and from here you can also change its padding so let's make it to 20 okay but on the left and right I want to increase that to 43 
so let's click on update and we preview our page now when we click on this buy now button this goes to the paypal and here you can see the price so here it shows the price including our five percent tax so here after login with their paypal account they can complete their payment and you can receive your payment so after receiving your payment you can send your ebook or your digital files to your customers to their paypal email and if you have a physical product then you can also handle the delivery process by contacting to their email but for digital product if you want to automatically send your files to their mail i recommend you to use the woocommerce plugin but here for your single simple product that will be all right okay after that let's see how we can add a donation button with paypal here i have already created a donation page and in this page i also want to add this paypal button widget so let's again search for the paypal button widget and drag this under here so first of all let's make this to align middle and change its text and for this i also don't want this icon and here again we put our paypal email address so right now in this case we select the transaction type to donation and put the item name and also put an SKU number and from here on the donation amount you can receive a fixed amount like if you want to receive fifty dollar you can set it from here or you can also make it to any amount so your user can decide how much they want to donate you okay we have completed our design now let's click on update and right now if we click on this donate now button this will bring us to the paypal donation page and here you can see the paypal name of the receiver the name of the item the SKU number and from here you can set your donation amount if anyone want to donate hundred dollar they can simply put this amount here and click on donate with paypal and they can simply log into their paypal to complete their transaction okay then lastly we will see how we can also set up a paypal subscription button here i have already created a services page and inside this page i have put this paypal button widget so if you have a service and if you want to receive payments from your clients on a monthly or yearly basis you can easily do that by paypal subscription so to make it a subscription button select the transaction type to subscription and also put the item and SKU number and then set the price that's $450 and I want to receive this on monthly basis so from here choose the option monthly then this is the auto renewal option so if you want to automatically receive payments from clients PayPal on monthly or yearly basis you can turn on this so let's save this and click here and here they also need to log into their PayPal for their subscription so we have seen the three different usage of this PayPal button and you can see how easily we can do that by Elementor Pro so let me know in the comment section which one you are gonna implement on your website if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and as always thanks for watching